Today we're taking a look at a new bunch of products from Beta FPV. These new products are using Express LRS for long-range radio communication. And of course you'll get some cool stickers and keyrings. I'm very excited about this one. This is a PWM receiver that you can connect servos directly to it and is using Express LRS, 2.4 GHz. It has five channels available, but it's very affordable and it's long range. The only weird thing is that channel number five has a binary position, so it goes all the way to one side or to another. There is no movement in between. Binding these receivers to the radio is almost the same for every ELRS system. I'm not gonna do that because it's boring and there is a lot of other people who already show how to do that online. The other big player here is the ELRS Micro TX module that uses Express LRS, 2.4 GHz, and you can get it up to the 1 watt version. If you get the 950 MHz version, you can get only 500 milliwatts of output, but that's more than enough for a lot of kilometers. And there's also a version of 868 MHz, which is almost the same as the 915 MHz. Now, this one is a very big deal because it's very, very affordable, and you can go hundreds of kilometers out and not losing any signal. So that's a big game changer in the FPV community if you're flying, you know, FPV wings, long range and things like that. And you can configure it from the actual device using the little screen that comes with it and a little joystick, or you can also do it from the radio using the Lua script. But at the moment of making this video, if you update its firmware, you will lose the ability to change the settings from the little device. So just be aware of that. Now let's take a look at these very, very tiny receivers. These include an antenna. The antennas are like ceramic antennas and they are soldered onto the PCB. So you don't need an external antenna or anything. And of course, due to their lightweight, we can use these devices in very, very small drones and RC airplanes. So I prepare one of the receivers, the one with the flat antenna, to mount it into the Raycon 3 drone and see how it goes. In this test I'm flying in a park and I'm pretty sure I will lose video signal first than the radio signal. But I reached around 300 meters and uh, the, the receiver was okay, didn't lose any signal, but of course the signal was getting weaker, but for the size of the receiver that's extremely impressive. Here I'm doing some other test, flying the Raycon 3 and I'm flying close to where I live and yeah, the signal is still pretty good. For the PWM receiver, I decided to go with my radio control car. The idea is to go as far as I can go using a very powerful video transmitter and you know, the receiver won't lose signal for kilometers away. But you know, I went to the park and I started to drive the RC car, which by the way, I equipped with a rotating camera so I can see to the sides and everything. And it was looking very good, like a robotic version of this RC car. And I started to drive very far, not as far as I wanted to, because the signal of the video was getting weaker, but also the terrain rougher. So I didn't want to lose my car somewhere in the distance. But that would be an interesting test to do somewhere with more space, maybe in a beach or someplace like that. Because I'm pretty sure it will have lots of range with this receiver. Here are some of the images of me driving the car around. You can also set up the failsafe of this receiver, activating the Wi-Fi functionality, then entering into the receiver settings through this website that it's uh, being generated from the receiver, and then changing the default settings of each of the channels for the failsafe.
I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.